This video is about the human array, which is emerging. It's being made to show how enlightened individuals, working together, can offset their spin. Please bear with me while I try to explain this important concept. I believe the Earth has an essence, soul and a will. Many organisms have found their way to adapt to the design of this context, and are in perfect harmony and alignment with the way things are. Others, such as the human, have not been around long enough to make this adjustment, and seem to be spinning out of control at this moment in time. 4.5 billion years ago, apparently, a giant asteroid hit Earth and knocked off zillions of tons of material, which fell into an orbit around our lovely planet, and eventually became our moon. Now the moon, at first, was spinning rapidly, in its own mode, and was not synchronized with Earth. But, over the many eons, the gravity of Earth, along with the irregularities of the moon, produced a dampening effect on the moon and gradually brought its rate of revolution into perfect alignment with its rate of orbit. You might say the moon fell in love with the Earth, and now never takes its face away from the beautiful world from which it came. So what does this have to do with humans, and our current predicament? Just this. We are, similar to our early moon, spinning restlessly, erratically out of control. We are ruining our habitat, hurting each other, and failing to wake up to the many threats to our survival. Why is this happening? Well, for one thing, we are up against our own personal conditioning, and, perhaps much more significant, we are up against the complexity and inertia of our culture as a whole. As we attempt to change, and change the system, the immense pressures of the status quo tend to drag us back to the way things were. But, if we could join together as a global community, and share our insights and efforts for change, we can form a network, which would be able to work externally to each of our immaturities and, as a structure outside the thinking of our old culture, could form a creative human array. This is a really great idea, I think, because, if we could do this, we could take advantage of the immense power expressed by the formula E equals MCC, consciousness raised to the power of collective consciousness. This has been called, Big C, and is really strong. Are we already doing this? The answer is, yes. What do we need to do now? Keep it up, and apply this dampening principle to the many issues we face today. Want a couple of practical examples? Have conversations that matter. Share and listen to what others have to say. Be open. If the moon can do it, why can't we? Love shift. Working together we can make a difference. 